financial problems, elder law, criminal law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now, here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's topic is eliminating debt, taxes included, with Chapter 7. Brian Small, good morning. Good morning, Ken. Pleasure to be here. And there is very little that makes me happier than eliminating debt, especially taxes, especially the IRS. What about you, Pat? Does that make you, does that, you know, does that float your boat as well? You know, it's really weird because my daughter works for the IRS now. And Jenny is in the same division that Jenny used to be on the show. And it's, uh, yeah, I still want to eliminate the IRS debt, even though she's part of the other Listen, side. <laughs> your, your daughter may be a great Per, great employee and, and great person, but that doesn't mean there's one person in the United States that likes paying taxes. And there's no one that wouldn't rather go like this and have their tax debt be gone. Yeah. There's one exception to that. Oh, if, I could win, if I could win one of those $300 million lotteries, I will gladly pay the $100 million in taxes <laughs> And net my two hundred million, and not complain about the taxes. Okay, there is an exception to every rule. However, I would go on to say that probably the majority of people in that situation would still say, "Can you believe how much taxes I had to pay?" Because that's that that's human nature. No, the problem is with that. It's sort of a, a sad commentary. People don't have people don't have confidence in the government to spend it wisely, and that's. You know, the idea is pay taxes to get the benefits to keep the roads going and the and health care and stuff like that. But they don't have any confidence that it's being spent the way it's supposed to be spent. Everyone recognizes the cost and there is the need for taxes and that it's going to get spent. And we recognize that our taxes are going to our defense, maybe now to our roads and everything else. But I think we're all pretty confident that the level of competency by which it's being spent, we have every right to question it. There's yeah, no, I, I mean, because every single day, the government demonstrates to us, I think, a high level of incompetency. It's unfortunate, but that, that's the reality. And that's on both sides of the aisle. It has nothing yeah. to do with your political yeah. Yeah. No, no question. Chapter seven, Brian, what are the basics? Chapter seven. We, we talked about chapter 13 last week. Tell me about chapter seven. So chapter seven is debt elimination bankruptcy. Wipe out your debts, get a fresh start. The majority of the debts that people walk into the office with are dischargeable debts. Those would include credit card debt, even mortgages if you want to walk away from the house, um, IRS debt can be to the extent that it's income tax is over three years old, and we'll get into that a little bit more. The majority of your debts you can eliminate in Chapter 7. Certain debts you can't. That would be generally student loans, taxes that are less than three years old, debt incurred by fraud. And um, other than that, if it's a normal person, a normal consumer, that's gotten themselves in over their head, we can usually get rid of it and give you a fresh start. And that's what the bankruptcy code in these giant books that I have in my office, all the, you know, that's what it says. Fresh start is plastered all over the book. In chapter seven, what do you do with your car payment? Do, do you get to keep your car? And what if your car payment's too high? Is it like your choice whether you keep it or give it back? So one, you can reaffirm your car, meaning you get to keep it, 
pay for it. It will still show up on your credit report in a positive fashion as long as you're paying for it and help you redevelop your credit. Or you can give the car back because the car is too expensive and you don't want it anymore. Or if it's a purchase, we can actually force the creditor to in what's called a redemption to sell you the car for the fair market value. And we have finance companies out there that will refinance it for what it's worth, not what you owe on it. So yeah, this is in a chapter seven, you can do this? Chapter seven, yeah, it's called redemption. So, so, if you have, so if your car payment is way high because the car is not worth that much money, you could effectively lower the payment in a chapter seven? Yes, it, as long as we, we have to file a motion to redeem the car, we have to set up the financing with the new finance company, or you have to be able to write a, a check, so to speak. Like if your car is worth $7,000 and you owe $12,000 on it, we can redeem it for its fair market value. <clears throat> thousand dollars you just have to have seven thousand dollars but there are finance companies you can go to, to there get are a few, yes there are bankruptcy specialty companies that allow you to do that. that's a cool deal I, you know all this time we've been doing this i did not know you could do that well we rarely do it because quite honestly when you get to a part point where used cars are in that situation they're not really worth keeping however since we've seen such massive improvement in the quality of American built vehicles in the last five, six years, it sure, actually sir. is becoming worthwhile. So what about taxes? Income taxes are dischargeable in bankruptcy if they are over three years old, you filed them for at least two years, and you haven't been assessed in the last eight months. So Jerry, the bartender... I heard him say the other day, you can't discharge taxes in bankruptcy. Well, that's why Jerry's a bartender and he's not an attorney. He's wrong, period. There's, I don't need to comment any further. Jerry pours one of the best drinks in town. I'm sure Jerry does, but that doesn't mean that Jerry knows diddly squat about income taxes. If, you tell, him, if you tell him that, he will not pour you the drink. I'm sure he won't, but I don't mention that I'm an attorney when I'm getting a drink from you know you know the thing is though when you call jerry out hey jerry that's not you know i'm not a lawyer i'm not you know they'll he always back down when push but uh they sure like to give their opinions well they got what that's what they do i mean and we, if they don't have opinions then they're not going to be a good bartender let's take a break we'll continue on chapter seven if you're retired and in a financial crisis there is a way out it pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Favgro specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Favgro. Our firm will solve your problem. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Fav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We were just spinning. We just didn't know what was going to happen next. At Samasco Law, we deal with these issues every day, especially elder law. Pat went to work for Fran. Patrick was there holding my hand, kept saying, we'll get through this, we'll get through this. He got her husband Medicaid and in a nursing home. Samasco Law got the success they deserved. Samasco Law is definitely family to me. I really appreciate knowing all of you. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. 
Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. All right, we're back. All right, so Brian, what, Pat and I want to pepper you with some other questions. Pat, you had one. You know what? Uh, you're always, well, if I go through bankruptcy, I'm never going to be able to get a credit card again. I'm never going to. And a client came in the other day and she, they went through bankruptcy and they said it was fantastic. They wish they would have done it a lot earlier, which we've preached that for years. But she said that she was having a hard time getting a credit card, but walked into Cabela's. And they said, hey, do you want to get a credit card from Cabela's? Said, well, we know we went through a chapter seven. And they said, don't worry about Cabela's. We'll give you the credit card because they have other motivations to give you these credit cards, I think. And it, it worked great. And it was awesome, she said. So it can be a bit difficult right after a bankruptcy to obtain that first credit card if you even want to go back into the world of having a credit card. But the reality is, is first, there are a whole bunch of uh, credit card companies out there that will give you a secured credit card. You take $300, you give the bank $300, they give you a line of credit for $300. It sounds like a little bit, but the reality is, is it helps you develop your credit score. Yeah. At the same time, usually after six months or a year, they raise the credit line and they don't ask you for any more money. That allows you, once you've got a new pattern of developing credit, that coupled with pay your cable bill on time, pay your electric bill on time, pay your gas bill on time. All those things report to your credit report, and they help you develop your score. So then when you walk into a Cabela's, which is a national chain, and they have a instant credit card, the banks, they have multiple different banks that they work with, or they're financing it themselves, and they'll issue you a credit card. And maybe you have a $500 line of credit. Okay. You didn't have to put anything down. It didn't cost you anything. It's a process. Rebuilding your credit occurs quickly. And in fact, you can get generally within six months after you file a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, you can get a credit card. You so what about, all right, what about the stigma of bankruptcy? Well, I'm, I'm getting another thing people are worrying about. So... As I said, the stigma is related to the fact that you think you're never going to get credit again because nobody really knows you filed a bankruptcy unless you told them. Yes, it is a public filing. They can go look it up and Visa and MasterCard are going to see it when they run your credit report. But your neighbors don't know that you filed bankruptcy unless you put a billboard up on I-75 that said, hey, I filed bankruptcy. <clears throat> the, the reality is, is that the stigma goes away as your credit score goes up. And, and not only that, I would go one step further. I don't think the stigma even exists anymore. Bankruptcy is a, a financial tool. Any way you can eliminate debt the fastest way at the least possible cost, that's good business. That's, that's the new mentality. The old, that old mentality of the 60s that it was that like you were debtor's prison if you filed bankruptcy. That's long gone and if you're hanging on to it, you should get rid of it. Hey, that's the reality that came in last week. Uh, Mom, she had to move in her daughter's house uh, because they sold mom's house and spent $50,000 of the equity to pay off the credit card debt. And okay. now they don't have enough money to pay for the assisted living and in-home care. And we they can't get rid of the credit food. card so easily and kept the house. I could have oh. gotten rid of that credit card debt for mom either through a bankruptcy 
or through debt right. resolution, or even possibly making mom completely uncomfortable. You know what? And I said that to the kid, the daughter, and she goes, yeah, but that's not our philosophy. Our philosophy is always pay, pay, pay. I go, that 50000 probably was a $5,000 purchase 15 years ago that just racked up now, and it's just... And now that old philosophy just is... is, is yeah. I mean, I understand it. There's some integrity to it, but there's also a level of stupidity that goes yeah. to it. You have to you have to look forward to protecting your family going forward. That's exactly. First. Right. And then, yeah, if you're sitting on a million, two, two million bucks and you want to pay off the credit card, it's fine. Yeah. Who says that? If you don't need the... You know, but if the money... I don't know. Actually, is, Tim, to be honest with you, I, those, those people that are sitting on a million bucks that have... I've seen them. They walk in the office with two, three hundred thousand dollars in credit card debt. They want to settle their credit card it's debts just as much as anybody else. And it's why the right would they save a hundred thousand dollars or two hundred thousand dollars? I'm a hundred percent in favor. One, let me pepper you with one more question before we do a case study. I we hear it all the time. But what about my credit score if I file a bankruptcy? So as I was discussing, credit scores heal. They get better. So. Within six months after filing the bankruptcy, you're probably going to be eligible for a credit card, for a new car loan. And <clears throat> you're going to be redeveloping your credit score. And the reality is, is usually anywhere from 18 to 24 months after your bankruptcy, your credit score is back up in the 700s. Okay, uh, they, they, that, and that's the good point. Credit scores revive, and they're not the measure of your success. They're just a – first of all, you don't need the credit score unless you're buying a, a house. Or if you want the lowest car payment, the higher credit score gets you the lower car payment. A lower credit score causes your high, your car payment to go up. It doesn't mean you can't get a car. All right, let's talk about Chuck and, Aladdin, Chuck and Evelyn. They're in their late 50s. I'm going to set the stage, and then we'll take a break. House three hundred fifty thousand, mortgage three hundred thousand. So there's fifty thousand of equity. Household furnishings twenty five thousand, five thousand of cash in the bank. So those are their assets, their liabilities. They got a boatload of credit card debt, one hundred and fifty thousand. They've got seventy thousand dollars of tax debt from twenty sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. In twenty nineteen and twenty twenty, they owe fifteen thousand as well. They got fifteen thousand of medical bills. So their total liabilities between the taxes and the uh, credit cards is $235,000. they are $155,000 underwater in terms of their net worth. Their monthly budget, they got $7,500 a month coming in. Their mortgage payments, $2,600. Their credit cards are $3,750 a month. Utilities, cable, phone, et cetera. They're $3,750 underwater per month on their budget. Let's take a break, and then, Brian, I want you to walk me through how we solve their problem. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke, and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. I was married for 57 years before my husband died. Samasco Law had established a trust for them before this happened. There's so much to do in the beginning, but after about a month, you're kind of alone. We deal with estate planning and trusts every day. If you continue to have good support and know that your finances and your estate is in order, that's one thing that's so comforting. I would just highly recommend some Escola. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. Worth they have gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Fav Gross. 
We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Favgross today, 888-235-HELP. Time for announcements. I want to remind our viewers to listen to us for Law & Reality Live on the Praise Network, Tuesdays, 10 o'clock a.m., Saturdays, 7 o'clock a.m., and on KISS 105.9, Sundays, 7 o'clock a.m. Remember, you can always come in for a free consultation via teleconference, in office. You know, we're COVID smart, but we can do it, so we can do it in the office, or we can do it through Zoom or on the telephone, whatever makes you most comfortable. Just call 888-235-HELP or go online and sign up. We cover debt issues, tax issues, estate planning issues, business issues, elder law issues with Pat, disability issues with Jeff. Again, just sign up at lawandreality.com or call 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Also, go online for our free reports, Resolving Tax Problems, The Real Solutions by Ken Gross and uh, Jeff Linden, Bankruptcy Is It Right For Me by Brian Small, How to Save Your Home from Foreclosure, Business Formations, Loans and Grants for Small Businesses in Detroit and Michigan, and The Retiree's Guide to Social Security from Pat Samasco. I want to thank our sponsors, Thav Gross, Samasco Law, and Kirshner Law. Now back to the show. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. I was married for 57 years before my husband died. Samasco Law had established a trust for them before this happened. There's so much to do in the beginning, but after about a month, you're kind of alone. We deal with estate planning and trusts every day. If you continue to have good support and know that your finances and your estate is in order, that's one thing that's so comforting. I would just highly recommend some ESCO Law. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke, and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. All right, we're back. Brian. Walk us through the bankruptcy for these guys to see, you know, make make things work for Chuck and Evelyn. Explain us how it's going to work. All right. So we have two tests that we have to look at to see if the Chuck and Evelyn can qualify for Chapter 7. The first one is called the means test. And the means test is this capricious standard set forth by Congress that says if you make too much money or you don't you, and, and you're not a, the right size family, et cetera, you don't qualify for chapter seven. Now, the reality is, is that most families of four making 120 to $150,000 a year are going to qualify for chapter seven if they need to. So in this case, Chuck and Evelyn, who make $70,000 a year, whether they've got two kids, one kid, three kids, no kids, they're going to qualify for chapter seven by passing the means test. But then that's only step one. Then we have to look at the budget and we say income minus expenses. Do they have any money left over after they maintain their household expenses, the rent, the mortgage, the electric, the, uh, the car payment, the insurance expenses? What's it's, left over at the end of the month? If it's nothing. Assume it's nothing gonna, in this case. You know, in this case, Chuck and Evelyn have a negative budget. So chapter seven is going to be an available choice. They pass both of the tests, right? So now we look at 
What will chapter seven do for Chuck and Evelyn? Does it make sense? So we know that they have the, we based on what they own, we can protect all of their assets in a chapter seven. We can what, protect, what about their taxes? Well, we can protect the equity in their home. We can protect their furnishings. We can protect the cash. Their income taxes, most of them are dischargeable in bankruptcy. The 16 and 17 are immediately. The 18 will be after April 15th of 2021, or 2022, excuse me, or October if you file if they filed an extension. So you, can get rid of, so you can get rid of the $55,000 of taxes there. Right. So they get okay. stuck. There's still $15,000 that we'll have to deal with after the bankruptcy is over. What do you do with that? Well, we'll put them in an installment payment agreement at about 200 bucks a month. All right. So, so you can get rid of the taxes. We'll get rid of the taxes. We'll get rid of the medical bills. And the $150,000 for the credit cards, which are costing them $3,750 a month, which they're Basically, the only way they're getting the thirty-seven fifty is they're borrowing from their credit cards to pay for their credit cards. They're in that credit card. Um, well, they're they're never getting out of it, so to speak, unless we do something dramatic. In this case, the dramatic choice is to file the Chapter Seven. And you say dramatic choice, but I, I, I'm going to I'm going to pick words with you. The wise choice is to do that. It is the wise choice, but. You see, consider the fact that they're stuck in the same circle. They keep doing the same thing over and over again. As you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. In this case, what they're doing is just, it's insane to continue to pay $3,750 a month on debt that they can't afford. They're not living. They're, they're scraping by. Instead, get rid of the debt and enjoy their life. That's what's important here. What to me is, and we're, we're putting up on the screen their before and their after budget. They go from negative thirty-seven fifty to positive on their cash flow. Chapter seven for these guys is getting rid of one hundred and fifty thousand dollars of credit card debt and fifty-five thousand dollars of taxes and That's, all the medical bills too. Yeah, another yeah, it vanishes instantly. It is such a good thing for the two of them that it would be a shame for them to have anyone suggest to them that that's not the right move. That's exactly what they need to do. It puts their house in order. It gets rid of the stress. It makes their lives good again. It's that straightforward. And it's a shame, I think, that people sometimes are afraid to explore that opportunity and then take advantage of it. It's there for exactly this situation. Final words, you guys. Come on in. Get an analysis done if you're losing your mind at credit card debt because we can help. Have a great week. We'll be back next week with a lot of reality.